Have you ever imagined yourself as a brilliant detective who solves the mystery with one small clue, such as a button from the crime scene? It must be how astrophysicists feel piecing together the history of the solar system. In their hands was a tiny piece of evidence, data obtained from an ancient object with a diameter of only about 36 kilometers or 22.4 miles. And despite the fact that it's located 44 times farther from the sun than our planet, Earthlings managed to reach it with their exploration devices. So how did a space probe end up in the distant Kuiper Belt? And why are the mysteries of an asteroid which resembles a bloody snowman, no less intriguing than the Norwegian detective novels of Joe Nesbo. It all started with Voyager New Horizons, launched in January 2006. In July 2015, it made the first orbit of Pluto in history. Having reached the main goal of the mission, the space probe went even further. The New Horizons team turned its attention to Ultima Thule, or 2014 MU69, a small object in the Kuiper Belt, which is located at a distance of nearly 6.5 billion kilometers, or 4 billion miles from Earth, and 1.6 billion kilometers, or 1 billion miles further than Pluto. NASA only learned about the existence of the asteroid in 2014, when it was discovered by the Hubble telescope. Soon it was decided to conduct the first study of such a small object in what would be the farthest observation of a planetary body in the history of spaceflight. And that means setting new space records. The head of mission, Alan Stern, then admitted that NASA had never sent a research probe to an object about which so little was known. Having declared such an ambitious goal, Earthlings actually took a wild guess and won. Later, once scientists became more familiar with the asteroid, it was named Arakoth, which means sky in the language of the Powhatan Indians, to replace the old, unofficial name of Ultima Thule, meaning the extreme limit. The historical event occurred on January 1, 2019. The device passed at a distance of about 3,500 kilometers, or 2,175 miles from the asteroid. Just imagine, the images you see were taken farther away than any ever transmitted to the Earth. Scientists and all mankind have opened a completely new, unknown page in the book about the solar system. In reality, all the distant objects in the Kuiper Belt are historical relics that keep prints of the past almost unchanged. As Alan Stern, the director of the New Horizons mission said, We've never seen anything so primitive that remains nearly unchanged since the first days of formation. First of all, the appearance of this cosmic body is striking. It looks like a snowman, moreover, a red snowman. The asteroid is a contact binary object, measuring approximately 36 by 18 by 10 kilometers, or 22.4 by 11.2 by 6.2 miles. Both parts of it are almost identical in color. The hue of their ice surface is probably due to the influence of cosmic radiation. Similar effects are responsible for most of the reddish hue on Pluto's surface, as well as for the northern part of its satellite, Charon. Both halves of the asteroid were once separate, freely flying objects. Their union must have occurred shortly after the birth of the solar system. And this moment is of the most interest to scientists, since their merger was surprisingly gentle, as if they converged at the speed of two spacecraft docking together. These two ancestors formed from the same cloud of small particles of gas, dust, and ice billions of kilometers from the newborn sun. At first, they revolved around a common center of mass, gradually drawing closer together, and ultimately came together very softly. 
Astronomers believe that the speed of the collision was so slow that a car in a collision at the same speed could barely crush the bumper, somewhere around 8.9 kilometers or 5.5 miles per hour. What we can see in a computer simulation of a merger at such a speed is strikingly similar to what we observe in reality. As more and more data came from the Voyager to Earth, there was yet another surprise. Arakoth is an unusually flat object. The two parts of the asteroid that were initially mistaken for spheres were not spheres at all, but rather flattened petals. The larger half of the asteroid is significantly wider and flatter than the smaller part. One New Horizons researcher, Hal A. Weaver, a planetary scientist from Johns Hopkins University believes that this shape could have resulted from natural changes during its formation, when a cloud of small particles accumulated around the core. Many objects in the Kuiper Belt possess satellites, but Arakoth seems to be flying alone. If it had a moon, this would help scientists determine the density of the asteroid. All that the authors of the study can say so far is that it most likely resembles the nucleus of a comet. The asteroid also didn't show any signs of an atmosphere that would protect it from collisions. But there are almost no craters on the surface of the cosmic body. A team of researchers has identified only two possible impact craters located on the small part of the binary object in a concave area called Maryland. Scientists believe that this indicates a shortage of small objects in the Kuiper Belt. Arakoth is also a very dark object. It reflects no more than 12% of the light falling on its surface. For comparison, the Earth's soil reflects about 10% of the light that hits it. This makes it even more curious that there are bright, prominent spots on the asteroid. Judging by the pictures, they can be divided into three types, round or oval spots, straight or slightly curved stripes, and wide, scattered areas. The brightest spots are on the isthmus of the object, the junction of both lobes and in Maryland. Their exact nature remains to be explored. Another strange feature of Arakoth remains a mystery. The intensity of its glow doesn't change as it rotates. Astronomers have made several assumptions about the causes of this. For example, that the asteroid is facing the probe only with its poles, so that it's surrounded by a hypothetical gas mantle. But none of these theories have been confirmed. Scientists will probably be able to answer these questions in September of 2020. It's expected that by that time, the probe will transmit all three gigabytes of data it collected about Arakoth to Earth. The fact is that now Voyager is located at a distance of more than 6.5 billion kilometers or 4 billion miles from Earth. And the radio signal takes six hours and nine minutes to reach our planet. Considering that the device is capable of transmitting about 1,000 bits per second, and the probe is constantly moving away from Earth, it will take about 20 months to send all three gigabytes. Then, scientists will be able to get up close with the most ancient mysteries of the solar system that have been preserved by the asteroid. Since Arakoth is about 44 times farther from the Sun than us, it receives 900 times less sunlight than we do on Earth. It turns out that it never reaches a temperature above minus 212 degrees Celsius or minus 349.6 degrees Fahrenheit, which means that it was well-preserved from the moment of its formation shortly after the birth of the solar system. Scientists believe that fluctuations in daily and seasonal Seasonal temperatures only affected the very shallow surface layer of the asteroid, from a few millimeters to several meters. This is a kind of time capsule, a deeply frozen, ancient relic awaiting researchers to discover it. It's likely, out of objects similar to Arakoth, that the planets of our solar system, including the Earth, eventually formed. Since no small object of the Kuiper Belt had been previously investigated by a spacecraft, we obtained very unique information about the geology and composition of such a body. According to Alan Stern, 
Erikoth presented us with many puzzles, even more than Pluto, given the difference in size. But this is far from the finale. The probe's radioisotope generators of heat and energy will operate at least until the mid-2030s. This is enough not only to study the Kuiper Belt in detail, but also to go beyond it. The next task of New Horizons may be accomplished in 2021, and this will be a new record of research range. What do you think about this? Does humanity have its own extreme limit of space flights, or is it all just up to our efforts? Let us know in the comments, subscribe to our channel, and click on the bell to receive timely notifications of new and interesting videos. Until next time.